and uh, if you so obviously now we're talking when you begin like if you're a, a beginner trader what would be for example your advice besides obviously learning the market how should the beginner trader approach and what should they be focusing on like do you have any like other tips for people that maybe are starting from the beginner beginning and what should they be spending their time on right because obviously finance is very broad so you could really go in different directions right yeah so what i think is really important to understand is that um 80 is mentally 20 percent is skills so i would say learn about you learn about psychology don't look only to that you understand how the mar market is working don't learn also um the economic mathematics everything behind no 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 this is not so important it's important i can go to mcdonald's and can teach any anyone maybe any cashier maybe any guy how they should trade to to give them all the strategies there's no problem but mentally they cannot do this because they have pressure when they see how the PL is rising down, up and down, up and down. When the bars are going up and down, up and down, they get completely confused what they should do. The, the mental aspect is so important. And I would say this is really important. So learn the mental aspect, focus on the mental aspect. Also, like what you're doing, focus on study the charts, what you backtest, everything like this. So the mental aspect, you should not. So you should not forget this. There are so many good books outside. People speaking about the trading psychology books, but I will say they are good books, but there are much better books. So I was personally looking into uh, psychology books from, from, from teachers who was uh, trading athletes like Michael Jordan, like Kobe Bryant, like the golf stars, like everything else. So I was looking always... Um, not into the trading space when it comes to psychology. I was always looking backwards. So I can give you a crazy story what helps me to become better in my inner game. So we're speaking about inner game. So there are some 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 crazy guys outside. They're calling his pickup artists. So they're looking for women, how they approach women and everything like this. But the, the guys who approach women, they're having crazy... Um, crazy inner game because they become shy when when they have to ask a woman about a date correct so they have to work on a crazy inner game and these guys who are teaching the inner game the guys who want to approach women they help you as a trader also how you can approach your inner game your patience and you, that you become comfortable with yourself for the trade for the trading business maybe this is a bad example but give a shit about this. So what I want to tell you is looking outside of the trading world when it comes to psychology. Look inside the trading world when it comes to economics and look outside to the trading world when it comes to mathematics. So they are so crazy mathematics guys outside. So they have crazy formulas. Look also outside from the market. Find other sources and then connect everything together that you can build a strong trader based on this. So this is what I was doing. And I think this is something what I can give anyone. Great. Thank you, Patrick.